I might bend, but I will never break because it's in my nature as a strong woman. The question is not whether we are able to change but whether we are changing fast enough. Anything that seems to be set in stone or unalterable can, indeed, change. In matters both large and small, it holds true that every change begins in the mind. There is one red line that we should not cross. It is a commitment to human rights, the respect of the dignity of the human being. There should be no compromises. I never underestimated myself, and I never saw anything wrong with ambition. For me, it is always important that I go through all the possible options for a decision. Don't forget that freedom is never something that can be taken for granted. Nothing can be taken for granted, everything is possible. We must have the courage to accept that some countries can move forward a little more quickly than others. Maybe I've just become more hardened. The exposure to so many extreme situations tends to harden a person. You have to develop survival strategies. Fear has never been a good advisor, neither in our personal lives nor in our society. Cultures and societies that are shaped by fear, will without doubt not get a grip on the future. I have asked a lot of you because the times have asked a lot of us, I am well aware of that. And I cannot promise you that there will be fewer demands in the future, because we must do what the times demand of us. We are responsible for each other. I am trying to convince doubters. There is still work to do. I believe those that produce the least emissions in autos will also be those who have the greatest success worldwide. A good compromise is one where everybody makes a contribution. Every person who comes is a human being and has the right to be treated as such. Whoever decides to dedicate their life to politics knows that earning money isn't the top priority. Politicians have to be committed to people in equal measures. When it comes to human dignity, we cannot make compromises. Climate change knows no borders. It will not stop before the Pacific Islands and the whole of the international community here has to shoulder a responsibility to bring about a sustainable development. The Euro is our common fate, and Europe is our common future. The willingness to learn new skills is very high. Spying among friends is never acceptable. You can much better have an influence on the debate when you sit at the bargaining table and you can give input. We know that our life of freedom is stronger than terror. Angela Dorothea Merkel Kastner, born the 17th of July 1954 in Hamburg. West Germany is a German former politician and scientist who served as Chancellor of Germany from 2005 to 2021. A member of the Christian Democratic Union CDU. She previously served as leader of the opposition from 2002 to 2005 and as leader of the Christian Democratic Union from 2000 to 2018. Merkel was the first female chancellor of Germany. During her tenure as chancellor, Merkel was frequently referred to as the de facto leader of the European Union EU, the most powerful woman in the world, and since 2016 the leader of the free world. 
Merkel entered politics in the wake of the revolutions of 1989, briefly serving as deputy spokeswoman for the first democratically elected government of East Germany led by Lothar de Maizière. Merkel was the first woman to be elected as chancellor, and the first chancellor since reunification to have been raised in the former East Germany. At the 2009 federal election, the CDU obtained the largest share of the vote, and Merkel was able to form a coalition government with the Free Democratic Party FDP. In 2008, Merkel served as president of the European Council and played a central role in the negotiation of the Treaty of Lisbon and the Berlin Declaration. Merkel played a crucial role in managing the global financial crisis of 2007-2008 and the European debt crisis. In domestic policy, Merkel's EnergyWend program has focused on future energy development, seeking to phase out nuclear power in Germany, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and increase renewable energy sources. Reforms to the Bundeswehr which abolished conscription, health care reform, and her government's response to the 2010s European migrant crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic in Germany were major issues during her chancellorship. She served as the senior G7 leader from 2011 to 2012 and again from 2014 to 2021. In 2014, she became the longest-serving incumbent head of government in the EU. In October 2018, Merkel announced that she would stand down as leader of the CDU at the party convention, and would not seek a fifth term as chancellor in the 2021 federal election.